Dude, I have no experience with anything engine-wise. I have no business doing this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Fingers crossed, clear. while we're waiting for fuel, is we're gonna motor the engine. So very little load on the starter with the spark plugs not in. And I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm regurgitating and doing what other people have told me to do. So thank you everybody for your advice. But the point is, is to, to see oil pressure because that's what we're waiting to do, to lube up the, the oil uh, system. After that, then we'll put the spark plugs in, torque them down, hook up the ignition system and get ready to crank. Whew. All right, let's do this. What's up? Actually, we shouldn't see any there because it's all gonna go down here. Is there a pressure block? Let's see if it's a pressure block, which it is. So I'm not sure why it's not venting out the top of the tanks. Yeah, I'm hearing it vent. Take two, we have fuel. That was an interesting dilemma. Once we have oil pressure, we can put the spark plugs back in, hook them up and crank. Fuel cutoff valve is off. So master is on, chocks are in, right ignition circuit breaker pulled, left ignition that came back on. Okay, so that's now off. Let's go engine monitor up, hold the brakes, idle cutoff, throttle shouldn't matter. I'll just go mid range. Okay, three, two, one, clear. Yeah. Sounds good. Oil pressure one, two. All right, oil pressure seven, eight, nine. Just being conservative on that. Okay, ready, clear. Woo. Okay, oil pressure 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, it's up to 46, 48. Good, clear. All right, oil pressure got up to 54. That's all we were looking for. All right, let's go ahead and put in the spark plugs and get this baby fired up. Spark plug, 20 foot pounds. Use anti-seize. Limitations, I'm not gonna exceed 400 CHT. Anybody can call, knock it off, knock it off. Wave your hands, that'll get my attention. And if you go cut it, I'll cut it multiple ways, right? I'm gonna go idle cut off, ignition off, fuel cutoff valve to close fire extinguisher i'm going to move the bonanza in so i'm not going to blast it with the amazing amount of thrust that the bogey is going to produce all right here we go <laughs> this is exciting all right we got that circuit breaker in the header tank has a lot of pressure on it so i'm expecting for it to kind of self prime once we hit this so let's go ahead and hit it not so much but when i hit the boost pump so let's get the electrical system on. Alternator field switch is gonna remain off until I got a good steady engine. Throttle idle for now, mixture full rich, and I want to prime the system. So we're gonna hit the boost pump, and we're gonna look for oil, or excuse me, fuel pressure. So let's go ahead and look for that. All right, here we go, boost pump. Okay. Fuel PSI is still nothing. Gonna go off. Okay, so no fuel down there. Maybe if I go throttle wide open, just open everything up. Here we go again, boost pump. There it goes, fuel pressure, nice. Where was it? We got this line here. Okay. Okay, potential I didn't tension that. Okay, well we got, as good news, we got pressure. <laughs> yeah. Bad news, we have a little bit of a leak. Where, so it was coming out of here? Yep. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten that up. Check all the other connections while we're at it. All right, got that tightened up. Good. Yeah, we can hear it out here. Yep, okay. <laughs> Tell them nervous. Okay, brake set. Let's turn on the nav and beacon to be legal. There we go. All right, here we go. Three, 
two, one. Fingers crossed. Clear. No RPM indication is what I said, but that wasn't enough to wipe the shit-eating grin off my mug. Unfortunately, my GoPro didn't record this clip of all freaking clips. So other than the RPM indication, which we'll get to in a second, and the untorqued fuel line, everything worked awesome. All the sensors worked perfectly, including CHTs, EGTs, fuel flow, fuel pressure, manifold pressure, oil pressure, oil temperature. Low fuel light mixture worked fine. Alternate air worked great. Left, right ignition on the key switch worked great. Now idle is a little too low. You'll see that in here in a second, but that should be pretty easy to adjust. I couldn't do a full throttle test since I didn't have an RPM indication, which brings me back to this. So I've been anxious about the RPM since I wired the whole plane from scratch. Since this is the most complicated connection of the whole build requiring a pull down resistor, which I had no idea what it was at the Garmin engine analyzer, the GEA 24. But looking at my interconnect schematics again, I think I have the fix. In fact, I emailed Klaus at like 3 AM cause I couldn't sleep this morning and he validated my concern and I definitely have the fix. So the only problem is it's going to require some contortion to get at the light speed ignition uh, connector on the cold side of the firewall it's way underneath there anyway this run was just shy of five minutes and I did another quick startup to test the warm start which didn't require a prime it just started right up on the first blade again this totally blew me away since the my Bonanza does not love warm or hot starts though I'm getting much better at them now so until first flight, which is only about two and a half, three weeks away in early January, I don't want to run this engine very much because break-in has to be pretty much airborne. A lot of power, a lot of heat. So the only test runs I'm gonna do on the ground again are to test this RPM fix, do a taxi test, and then do a full power static RPM test to ensure I get enough power for the first flight. I'm looking for 2300 RPM at zero airspeed. So I'm starting with 17 and a half degrees pitch on the ground adjustable whirlwind. Now I'll be doing the new task-based flight test program and beta testing the EAA's draft test cards to provide them feedback before they're released. So uh, make sure you're subscribed to check that out. And then finally, my carbon helmet from Lift Aviation just shipped. So I'll be rocking that during flight test, stole drag competitions, and higher risk backcountry missions. Thanks to Lift Aviation for sponsoring this episode. All right, here is the too low idle. And here I'm using the mixture to go to idle cutoff to actually shut it down. <laughs> Thanks, guys. After the warm start, I'll use the ignition switch to turn it off, and that worked like a champ. Post run inspection. It'll be more thorough when I turn the camera off, but nothing is glaring. It's nice to feel some heat on these bad boys. <laughs> All right, if you're interested in the engine tour, go ahead and click here or here, whichever side, for the long form version of it and all the work we've been doing over the last few weeks. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click there. But I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'm off to Japan for like 11 days vacation with family. And then I've got like six weeks off of work, unpaid. I'm just taking a leave of absence to get this done. That was a huge milestone. So thanks again for watching. Thanks to those of you who helped me get to this process. I'm just a guy who, has never worked with engines before. And I guess if I leave you with one thing is you can do it with, surround yourself with, uh, with good people who know more than you. Look at that. Thanks, Garrett. So anyway, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Talk to you soon. It's Steve, your Clear Direct.